My name is Sepp Spritzma, and uh, we're getting ready to go uh, meet the president and go to his birthday party. I didn't get that straight. I think you forgot. No, I know how to tie. We're really excited and uh, feel very honored. I would never have thought that I would win a, a contest. All of a sudden, we're in Chicago and uh, a couple hours away from meeting you know, the president of the United States. I'm so nervous. Got butterflies everywhere. Okay, Sepp, is my hair getting more full looking? Yeah, you look fantastic. What do you wear to the president's birthday party? <laughs> I'm Celestine Butler from Orlando, Florida, and my guest today is my sister. Thank you. I still don't think it's hit me yet. I, I know it's going to happen. It's so close to happening. I'm, I'm thrilled to go to the party, thrilled to wish him a happy birthday. And just to be able to shake his hand, we can say, we met the President of the United States, Barack Obama. We are fired up and ready to go, and we're gonna go downstairs and meet the other winners. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? So you all ready to go meet the President? Let's go. <laughs> we walk into the President's backyard. No fainting. We were uh, just waiting in the front yard. I was just getting more and more anxious. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's almost here, he's almost here. Then the President walks in. Oh, oh my God. gosh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> he's like popped through the gate and he's like, hey, how are you doing? Wow. Welcome to my house. Oh, oh thank, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. A couple of Floridians. Oh, oh yes. of course. The President of the United States came up to me and shook my hand and actually knew something about me. Well, we're so grateful for everything you guys have done. <laughs> Good to meet Thank you, you so much. Thank you for serving. This is your wonderful wife, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa. so Lisa. nice to see you. Nice to meet you. You're an educator? Yes. I feel like he's somebody that understands everybody's involved in this country. Hey, Marvin, <laughs> hey, sir, let me have a card so that I can write a note because these guys had to dump their kids. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma and Grandpa have them. He specifically asked, what are your kids' names? How are they doing? Wrote a card uh, telling them that he hopes they do really well in school this year. Felt very personal. That's the kind of president I want running our country. There's nothing I like better than a good party, and it's a good party. Well, Mr. President, my husband told me to tell you uh, that you're the only man that he would allow me to come. You see that? So <laughs> Just leaving him behind. Yes, I did. Shameful. Well, I, I told her, though, come on. <laughs> it was fantastic. Fantastic. Still floating. <laughs> I told her we were on cloud nine. The president believes that all of us are going to participate in this country's economy and in, in this democracy. And he's really able to articulate what his hopes and dreams are for this country. And it was, a, it was a great to be so close to that. But I think it's important for grassroots to really galvanize. Give money as small as $5, $3, whatever you can get. I know he cares about this country. And meeting him, I felt that even more. This is something I will never forget. <laughs>